June 27th at 9 Eastern on the leader in country music entertainment, GAC. Tell me something. song from 1996 it's living in a moment along with what mattered most to love too much just a few of the songs that made us fall in love with our next guest he is one of the best vocalists in music here to talk about his new inspirational cd journey on welcome our good friend mr ty Herndon. <laughs> wow. congratulations on this cd this Thank is you incredible so, much. so if you're sitting there talking about falling in love with me i think we're all in love with you oh you know that i told this man stay here all day long because I love it. I feel so good about myself after this. But I want to talk about this because I felt good after listening through this CD. An inspirational CD or faith-based music, not, you know, unusual for you. You're a church-going man, God-fearing man. Mm -hmm. But why the inspirational CD now to do a full-on album? I don't believe um, that, that I set out to write an inspirational mm. CD. I just set out to write about my life. And I've been hanging out with a lot of great songwriters, friends of mine that are in the contemporary Christian world and in the country world. Um, and I just started writing about, um, about things I'd been through in my life. I, I, it's kind of like writing a book. You know, I didn't really want to write a book, um, not right now, anyway, <laughs> but I wanted to write a piece of work that reflected the things I've been through in my life and where I'm at today. And so it's a little bit of a journey uh, about, um, about my life. So. It ended up being one of those albums that's like, okay, it's contemporary Christian, it's bluegrass, it's country, it's, it's just me. Yeah. It's me. It's, it's, it's a collection of songs that um, are just a pleasure to sing, and, and um, it's the first time I've written everything on there, too. I was going to say, so. I, have to, I have goosebumps, literally, when you just said that, because <laughs> listening to you and loving you for so long, and a credit to you as a vocalist, because everything you sing sounds like it came from your heart, because you Thank are you. A, not only a great vocalist, but an interpreter of songs. But to write everything for the first time and go into the studio from that perspective had to be very, very <laughs> emotional and very personal, I guess. It was very personal. Um, it scared me to death at first because I'm like, gosh, I don't want to be one of those people that goes and writes a whole CD and then you go back and listen to it and go, I shouldn't have written a whole CD. <laughs> <laughs> but I knew um, there were stories I wanted to tell um, and there were great songwriters that I wanted to work with. So. Putting that all together was like uh, it was like stitching this big blanket, and it was just so colorful and, and full of my life. Um, and what the outcome of that is for me is that when people listen to this record, I think they hear their own lives in it, and maybe they kind of wrap themselves up in that blanket, and it's a safe place. Mm. Um, some people have told me they've heard it already. They're using it as their 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 morning meditation. Then they listen to this. The, the first the first half is their uh, is their uh, get me going because uh -huh. you know it's about life and love and being happy. And then later on, as it gets down into the CD, it is more about worship. It is more about finding a calm place in your heart and spirit, um, and and wrapping the record up with a song called "The Man I Am Today." Um, it, just everything kind of seemed to just flow. And I'm so proud of this record. And I hope that. Um, um, that lots of people get to hear it. Well, I mean, just a, a great tribute to you again as, a, as an artist and songwriter. I do want to point out when you mentioned Wrapped in These Arms, you have been embraced when you walk away with a Dove Award for <laughs> When We Fly, a song on this for Best Bluegrass recorded song on this album. Congratulations to you. Thank Talk you. about being accepted into the world of <laughs> Christian music. Wow. You know, I, um, I was sitting at home because um, um, something came up with, with my family, and I, I really didn't get to go to the awards. Uh, I mm -hmm. planned on going, but I thought, wow, you know, Ricky Skaggs, Patty Loveless, um, Daly and Vincent, and all these, and all these people are my friends. They're in this category, so whoever won was going to be just fine right. with me. And I'm, I'm really good friends with Jamie Daly, with Daly and Vincent as well. And so um, uh, we were, we were, uh, we were talking recently, and he's like, Tyrone. He goes, I am the Bluegrass Entertainer of the Year. How did you win that award? And I was like. <laughs> Dude, the people love me. No, just I, I want to find out who sang with you, and I want to talk more about these tracks, and the people do love them. More with the man we love, Mr. Ty Herndon, when we come back. Stay with us. Well, welcome back to Street, spending time with Ty Herndon. Brand new album, 11 song CD titled Journey On, and a beautiful album. All the songs co-written by you, produced by this man as well. And we were talking a little bit about before the break, how you said this is kind of like, you know, pepping people up in the first half of this record. And I want to talk about the very first track, The Rest of My Life. 
Yeah. It talks about a guy who is not ready to give up yet. He's got a lot of fight left in him. When I hear this song, it makes me think of you knowing you wrote this, going, was there ever a question that you were going to back out of the music business, or were you going to think of another road to take? I definitely went through a, about a three-year period thinking, gosh, you know, I've been so lucky to have had the hits that I've had. My dreams came true. I got mm -hmm. to do what most people come to this town to do, and, and I did it, you know. Um, but then I was in a place like, wow, the business has changed, you know, this has happened for me, but where do I go from here? Yeah. Do, do I really want to keep pounding my head to the pavement and, and, and be out there and, and do this anymore? Um, and I went, I got a little sad about it and I didn't know what I wanted to do for a while. And um, um, uh, to be honest with you, I got involved with a really great church out in Bell Mead, the river, Music City. Mm -hmm and had a great music program and God just kind of touched my brain and my heart and said, dude, this is what I put you on this earth to do. Go out there and start writing this record and get back in the game, but do it the way you want to do it. Don't conform to the way anyone else wants to do it. There's so many ways to get music out there today yeah. and you have a lot of people that love you and want to hear new music from you, but maybe they want to hear it in a different way. Mm. Maybe they want to hear something from your heart. Yeah. And all of that kind of came to me and uh, within about two months, I started writing this record, um, and I knew that my journey here on, on this earth, as far as music goes, was really just beginning, a new era for me. And so one of the first songs that I wrote on this record wasn't the rest of my life, but a song called Journey On. Uh -huh. And it just talks about, you know, so many people go through so many things in life. Don't give up. Don't you ever dare give up because there's always a new path. There's always something, something great and new for you out there. Just get up every day. As, like my grandma says, Grandma Myrtle, you know, you better keep your slippers under the bed because that's the first thing you got to do is get on your knees to get mm -hmm. your slippers so you might as well pray while you're down there. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. I like that. <laughs> so Journey On was born, and, you know, there's, for me, that line in the, the song that says, um, someone's waiting by, by the river just to give you a hand, mm -hmm. just to take a hand and help you across. There's been so many people like that in my own life that have helped me and, and give me um, um, some steady legs to walk on when I needed some help. So... Um, that's what this record is. That song's all about. That's the first single. But going back to the rest of my life, that song really happened because I was sitting around talking to, to my co-writer, Matt Geringer, one day, and he goes, what do you want to do with the rest of your life? And I looked at him and said, I'm doing it. Right, right now, we're going to write a song about it. that. That's how it happened. And it's funny that you mentioned your grandma, because I read somewhere, and you said this was true, that your grandma was the one who predicted early on in your career that this was an album that you were going to make one day. She sure did. Grandma Myrtle, God rest her soul. But she always told me, she said, go out there in the world and do whatever kind of music you want to do. Just be great at it and try to be a good boy and come back around to your roots one day. And that always uh, has rung in my head. And so I guess that why this, why this album probably has a, a, a little bit of a gospel feel to it, gospel bluegrass, mm -hmm. because there's a lot of my, uh, of my heritage with my grandmother on there. We're looking forward to a video coming out, too, on Journey On. Are you yes, do it? So yes, So we're going to look for that. We're holding you to that so you can come back in the studio and play us that video Will you be person. my video, babe? I, hook me. I'm in. I'm doing it. I'm so in. <laughs> Ty heard it, everybody. You heard it here, folks. <laughs> I'm in. Stick around. we got a lot more on the streets when we come back. Journey On, new with the C&D.